ಬಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದೋದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕರೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದ ಪತಿತಂ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗು ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವಿತುಸಿ ದೈ ಪ್ರಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರೋನ್ನ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಗೀತಾಕ್ತಿಹಂ ಪುನತಪಾಲಭವಾತ್ಕೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸ ಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನಿಂದ ಸ್ಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನಿಂದ ಸ್ಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರೋ ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ವಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭುತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದುಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ಬಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶುಷ್ಯುಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ
क्लेशाग्नि शुभदा मुक्षलुगिता कृत सुदुर्लभा चंद्रानंद विशेषात्मा श्रीकृष्णा कर्षणी चासा क्लेशाग्नि शुभदा मुक्षलुगुता कृत सुदुर्लभा चंद्रानंद विशेषात्मा श्रीकृष्णा कर्षणी चासा गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद टोल्ड अनुगत्यहीन व्यक्ति अनुगत्यहीन पर्सन इज लाइक अ बीस्ट अ पर्सन हु इज नॉट अंडर एनी अनुगत्य इज कंपेयर टू अ बीस्ट एंड ही इज मोर देन अ बीस्ट गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा टोल्ड दैट अनुगत्यहीन व्यक्ति ही इज इक्वल एंड टू मोर देन अ बीस्ट बिकॉज बीस्ट इज नॉट गिविंग दैट मच डिसएडवांटेज टू एनी बट टू एज कम्पेयर टू अ पर्सन हु इज नॉट अंडर एनी अनुगत्य प्रभुपाद ऑलवेज यूज टू स्पीक दिस पॉइंट दैट दिस अधोक्ष जो वस्तु दैट टू गेट भगवत सेवा नो बडी नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू डू दैट भगवत सेवा प्रभुपाद ऑलवेज यूज टू स्पीक दिस पॉइंट दैट अधोक्ष वस्तु मीन्स दैट परमनेंट वस्तु दैट नित्य वस्तु भगवान अधोक्ष वस्तु नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू डू बट टू डू माया सेवा विदाउट एनी वन कॉलिंग विदाउट एनी इन्फॉर्मेशन वेदर ही इज डम वेदर ही इज वेदर ही इज हैंडी कैप्ड ही ऑलवेज वॉन्ट टू डू माया सेवा ऑलवेज हैव द डिजायर टू टू सर्व टू सर्व माया देवी आई आई हैव जस्ट मेट विद वन हैंडी कैप्ड आई जो आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू नेम दैट पर्सन He is a bhakt of a Gaudiya bhakt, devotee of Gaudiya bhakt, and he he used to love me a lot and Bharti Maharaj as well. And uh, I just used to uh, understand that he is a very big devotee. But uh, when uh, when I just uh, met with him uh, alone in his house, then he told me about his heart, that uh, what kind of garbage is there inside his heart. I was very much. Uh, uh surprised to hear that this is uh, i think so 20 years back i haven't uh, believed have 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 that estimation that how he can have this much kind of garbage in his heart uh, the he i uh, told him that your body is not working but still uh, why you have that much uh, bhog vasna inside your heart Oof, that is not good. this is actually natural you can't actually blame them that is actually natural uh, they have you can't blame them without any uh, without any information everyone is going to serve maya devi everyone is standing to serve maya devi and they don't want to do adhoksha vastu bhagwat seva bhagwan seva why because every person wants that uh, i have done this so in return what i am getting every person needs that whether he is in the face of sadhu whether he is in a normal person everyone has this desire inside his heart that whatever energy I have given that what return i will get it means that that the the preliminary teachings of gita that is not going inside our heart Uh, but uh, we want to do raganuga rupanuga bhajan we just want to jump into that ocean we are have designing that it is not at all possible we don't have that preliminary shi shloka like karma arpan uh, all etc these things we are not following that of gita and uh, last shloka is uh, sarva dharma this is a very far distant uh, thing the preliminary cheatings of gita we are not following at all but but we want to just uh, jump into raganuga rupanuga bhajan in the ocean of that and we always want that uh, 
we just have to we we haven't served the upadesh amrit of rupa ko swami pad and we just want to jump into rupa nuga bhajan sant ko swami mara always used to use foul words that uh, you can uh, just by operation you can make him gopi like this uh, sant ko swami mara used to speak this is very strange and it is very strange to hear this but everything is going on like this now the person who is not under the anugatya any anugatya he is actually more than more than beast or equal to beast that is uh, of this there is no doubt about it previously i was just discussing about one point that that uh, that agyan darkness of agyan if a person is living in that if he is uh, thinking himself himself as a pandit and he is thinking himself as an acharya and he is uh, giving that title and what bhog uh, vasana he has inside his heart it is always automatically will be there inside his heart every time avidayam antari vartamanah swayam dhira pandit mannamana jangam mamana parishanti mura andha naivo You can remember this, no? That Pralad Maharaj speaking this point. This uh, he is doing it for his own uh, swarth. That is the actual uh, actual profit of Atma. what is the actual uh, uh, happiness for the atma he don't know about his atma among happiness what he will think about uh, the happiness of the other atma he don't know about the actual happiness of of his own and he's just doing all drama and he is doing just uh, different different kind of things in front of people like a drama and now you can hear that avidya agyan the person who is in the darkness of agyan and he is actually speaking that oh he is actually ignorant you don't need to follow that person he all the god brothers and everyone all the prabhupad the gan parshad he is actually blaming them and he is uh, writing that they are that they are all ignorant otherwise why you will speak uh, you are you are uh, just blaming all your uh, guru bro- uh, god brothers why you are blaming them it means that you are the most ignorant person you are the most ignorant person whether you want to hear whether you don't want to hear you can go go off i don't need any popularity that you are in the darkness of uh, agyan and uh, and uh, of himself he is thinks he is thinking himself as that i am a very big pandit that i am very big gyani i am very knowledgeable personality and he is having that false ego inside his heart he is number one foolish and by this uh, uh, it is uh, uh, every person is following him uh, where they will go definitely when one blind person uh, who is going uh, that the other the other blind person will definitely get into the hole if he one blind person is going into uh, a ditch so he will also get into that pralad maharaj ji that's why speaking this shloka that uh, you don't have need to uh, follow your selfish motives that you need to follow the motive of the atma swa arth means swa arth swa arth means uh, uh, what is the actual uh, selfish purpose of atma that is bhakti that we don't have any information about that that uh, how to serve uh, adoksha jivasta that to serve adoksha jivasta vishnu is the topmost benefit of the jiva that is the actual profit for all the jivas that is the uh, actual uh, diamond like thing for all the jivas that is bhakti towards vishnu lotus feet that he has that desire inside his heart that uh, asha means desire that what this what is the desire of his heart that i will do this i will do this durasaya means like raman he has that uh, uh, negative uh, desire inside his heart desire is there but ravan has that negative desire inside his heart durasaya means negative desire 
Why? Because his inside Atma, Bahirat means outside, external, whatever you are seeing with this material body, that is that is very much uh, uh, attractive to you. What you are seeing is that is uh, like a new market in front of you. What Maya Devi has uh, open in front of you. That each and every attraction, when you will get rid of that, it is very difficult. Where there is Hari Bhajan and where we are foolish number one. Where there, where is Hari Bhajan? We can't estimate that. We have what at what point we have to go. We don't know. We have to go at that perfect pure position. Pralad Maharaj already speaking this point. That uh, blind person, if one person is going uh, to the ditch, that person, if he is following him, then definitely he will also get into that uh, ditch. Definitely. Because he don't know about himself. So, because he don't uh, see uh, his own path. So, wh what uh, pathway he will uh, teach to others? And like... Balad means vijad. Uh, vijad means uh, uh, is not vijad, uh, like not bull. Uh, Balad means uh, like uh, a like a bull when his uh, pa uh, when his penis is just got cut, then is called balad. Then uh, uh, in the previous in the uh, in the olden times we have seen that we are using that uh, uh, bu bu bull. And uh, we are just uh, using it for uh, uh, which is which we are using in the field uh, in the um, in the sarson field, and we are just taking that sarson oil out of that mustard oil out of that in the mustard field. We are using that uh, vijad. Vijad means that bull, uh, and uh, out of that, what is happening? That mustard oil is coming out from the mustard field, and in the NASA. And and there in the nose as well, there is one uh, ring, and uh, with the ring uh, he has uh, that rope uh, embedded inside his nose, and that is the actual condition of all the bonded souls nowadays. Like in the nose, there is uh, one, uh, uh, there are, uh, uh, there is uh, one hole, and from there uh, two ropes are uh, just uh, going from inside his nose, and uh, in the same way Maya Devi is also pulling us like that. The, this is the condition this is very bad to hear and i am very unhappy to hear that so in which our sampraday like shila prabhupad who is such a uh, great bhagavad parshad of uh, bhagwan and bhakti Vinod thakur as well but still this uh, uh, all is going on in our in our sampraday this this of thinking i am very unhappy previously i have already told that avidya that uh, who are doing uh, uh, who are worshipping avidya it means that you are uh, worshipping maya devi that you are uh, worshipping uh, mahamaya devi you are uh, worshipping maya devi if you are uh, if you are worshipping avidya to worship maya devi means that you are going into the darkness well of darkness definitely what uh, is whoever is doing uh, um, worshipping avidya but but though those who are going to follow kuvidya atividya kuvidya means that uh, who are kuvidya ka matlab kuvidya means that those who are those who are uh, regretting the actual uh, situation of Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan and they are just cutting their, their Siddhant Vichar and just uh, going to make their own Siddhant Vichar and want to uh, get a new rapid improvement in their bhajan life. So that is not possible. So whatever the respect of Guru Vaishnava and whatever the Siksha given by our Guru Parampara uh, in the Shrat Panta, they just want to cut that and they just want to go uh, on their own because they don't believe in Guru Vaishnava and they are like Maya Vedi. The, those persons actually they are in the mode of darkness. Uh, and tamo. They are in Tamagun, always in mode of darkness. 
अंधम तमहा प्रविशंति जे अविद्यानुपासति ततो भयो ईबोते तमो यकु विद्यायाम रता in the in the Ishopanishad, this shloka is written. In this Ishopanishad shloka, it is written. Those who are taking the shelter of Ati Vidya. Actually, who are worshipping Ati Vidya, they are uh, those who are already busy in worshipping Ati Vidya. Of them, they are actually having a more worse position, more worst position. They don't know whether which place they will go. And that's why I have linked this point uh, uh, with the, I am just telling you this Siddhant Vichar that, that it is spoken by Prabhupada that those who are doing uh, Shuddha Gaudiya Bhajan under the Pranali of Ga- Gaudiya Bhajan, if they are incomplete and they are just giving some extra thing inside their own Siddhant Vichar in order to make their own Siddhant Vichar and they are thinking that this Siddhant Vichar is incomplete, what given by Guru Vaishnav, that is actually called Mayavadi because they are not uh, actually, they are regretting the, they are uh, regretting the Siksha of uh, Guru Varga and he is actually definitely mayavadi because he is uh, he is not accepting the adarsh achran and siksha of guru vaishnav uh, so th- actually that is called mayavadi only na this is only one and the same only no so those who are uh, uh, the like rup goswami pad who are following shuddh uh, gaudiya pranali they are following like updesh amrit of rushila rup goswami pad and Raghunadas Goswami is uh, in Mansiksha and Prabhupada Zupadesh Amrit Bhaktivinoda Thakur uh, Bhaktivinoda Vani Vaibhav and Mahaprabhu Siksha Ashtakam and Srila Rupa Goswami Pad Shri Nam Ashtakam and uh, the, about the glorification of Shri Nam all at all these Jagdananda Prem Vivarta all these are uh, actually Shuddha Gaudiya Bhajan, Bhajan Pranali this is the actual pathway to follow. Those who are, uh, those who have already read uh, Jav, Jav Dharam, my Guru Mara always used to speak. You have to understand that under guidance of Guru Vaishnava 100 times. And about the instructions of Mahaprabhu, Siksha, Siksha Amrit, Chaitanya Siksha Amrit, Manas Siksha of Raghunath Das Goswami Pad. You need to understand under their guidance of Guru Vaishnav, Nam Chintamani. All these, uh, all these uh, list of books what I am telling you now, I have already seen this, seen that, that those uh, uh, Guru Vaishnav, those sadhus who, who are actually reading this Jaiv Dharma, Sek Chaitanya Siksha Amrit, Mahaprabhu Siksha, Upadesh Amrit, Rup Goswami Bhats, Upadesh Amrit, Nam Ashtakam, of Upde- uh, Rup Goswami and Bhajan Rahasya, all these list of books, uh, Jagdanand Prem Vivarta, Raghunadas Goswami Mansiksha, Prabhupadesh, Prabhupada Uddesh Amrit, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, uh, Bhaktivinoda Vani Bhav. All these uh, uh, books uh, who have already read this, I haven't seen that they have uh, uh, just gone into the fallen condition. I haven't seen that. Those who have already discussed about this under the guidance of Guru Vaishnav, then they uh, they they didn't fall down in their bhajan. If there is some uh, fallen condition, then there it is uh, very rare. And under the guidance of the Guru Vaishnav, uh, actual guidance that uh, uh, just got vanquished. Those who are actually thinking that uh, pure uh, Gaudiya Pranali is incomplete, and they are just they just want to. Uh, uh, activate their La Puja Pratishta and just want rapid improvement in La Puja Pratishta and uh, they ha- always uh, want the new pathway to get their extraordinary pathway then uh, under they are actually uh, doing Aparad onto the lotus feet of uh, pure Guru Vaishnav because because he wants to establish a new Gaudiya Pranali according to his own desire he is actually destroying himself himself definitely but he has already destroyed himself, but uh, those who are following him, 
they are all already also getting uh, destroyed it is 100 percent sure they are also destroying themselves should the gaudiya uh, pranali gaudiya vishnu pranali if one is the disobeying uh, that uh, who is thinking that in what is what is there in Upadesha Amrit? Oh, we can just read Ujwal Neelmali and what is there in Upadesha Amrit? No use to read it. If this kind of situation arises and those persons who are actually just uh, insulting the uh, pure Gaudiya Pranali, then they will for infinity period will uh, they cannot get the Nirmal Aprakrit Brajras inside their heart. They will not get that. Of this there is no doubt. And, and okay, they will not get that. That is good. <coughs> that is good. Because they don't... Uh, but uh, they actually want that material rasa. And they are actually thinking that material rasa is just equal to braj ras. They are thinking material rasa to be just like braj ras. And they are uh, becoming so fallen, so fallen. Then uh, that uh, the, all the anugatya, those who are following them... They will definitely for infinity period they will go to hell. I just want don't want to speak about this, but I have to speak because this is the truth. That's why Prabhupada's uh, writing Prakrit Ras Shatadoshani uh, Panampuja Keshav Goswami Maharaj always used to enjoy by just uh, reading this uh, uh, this vichar of Prabhupada and they just want to slap Mayavadis with all this. This uh, Prakrit Shat Doshani of Prabhupada, Kishav Goswami Maharaj used to read and Prabhupada has written this. There are actually, you, when you will read this uh, uh, book, you can understand that uh, those who are, pers- those who, which, which category of persons are Sahajya, this earth is so big and there are uh, lakhs and lakhs of devotees in, on this earth. And if you can, uh, anyone you can ask, that how much time they have uh, uh, heard Jayav Dharam, what how, how many times they have just read uh, Shiksha Amrit, and and how much times they have read uh, Prakrit Rashat Doshini and Man Siksha, have they read that? I don't think that they have read that. I am 100% sure they haven't read that. If they have read all this, then definitely they, they must have uh, told that my Guru is cheater only and they must have thrown him up till now but because they haven't read that that's why they haven't thrown him because uh, on this uh, very less people very rare people are there to give attention that is the actual plotting of maya devi that uh, uh, there are very less people who are giving very less attention on to this i am we are actually from the starting of the bhajan our guru work guru guru maharaj guru work speaking that okay beta you have to uh, son, you need to read this. You don't read that. You didn't read that. Uh, you will get the basic foundation of your bhajan by reading this. Nobody can cheat you. Gaudiya bhajan pranali. What is that? How it how it is like? Those persons who are actually desiring. Uh, who just want to get into the poor Gaudiya Pranali uh, is there any person who just want to get into that how we have to follow that pure Gaudiya Pranali like Parikshit Maharaj uh, already giving a, a question in front of Sukhdev Goswami Pad. that question is a ab- tremendously absolute we, uh, Sukhdev Goswami Pad become very happy by this uh, question from Parikshit Maharaj These kind of questions uh, nobody is uh, now uh, 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 giving in front of Gurudev because there is no question. Why? Because there, is, if there is some self-realization, point of self-realization, then there, there of question, question of self-realization will come. If there is no self-realization and no relationship with the uh, Bhagwan, then uh, how that question will come? So this kind of things are not actually uh, activated or available in. Uh, uh, sansar in material world if you don't have any uh, desire for self-realization then uh, there is no person uh, who just want to do bhajan whether they have taken uh, the ashray of anyone they don't want to do bhajan they just want position glamour or uh, everything will come in their life but uh, actual self-realization will not come so there are some other persons like those who have taken the apron of bhajan and they are doing tilak mala 
and they are just like moving like vaishnav and externally and uh, they are just uh, doing business uh, and uh, he, all the other external persons are uh, uh, just uh, thinking externally that they are actually sadhu no so how they can do business so it, it by just having a uh, janeu and tilak mala wearing they are just uh, going uh, and doing business so they are just actually uh, showing that they are of a very high uh, quality like in business uh, always they just want to uh, rob all the people all the individuals all the bonded souls and uh, they are just uh, finding it uh, more suitable for that gurudev always used to speak one story that there is one uh, a jewelry shop and there is one uh, jewelry person who is doing the work of a jewel and uh, externally he is doing uh, uh, talak uh, tilak mala and he is actually stealing all the gold how that uh, whosoever coming from uh, uh, outside and he just want to uh, sold the gold or uh, what is the price of this gold how much you can give it then uh, just by uh, doing that uh, he is actually on the upstairs living upstairs and there is uh, one person who is living downstairs uh, just like a one floor and uh, there uh, in the downstairs one person is there who is actually the labor who are working in the uh, jewelry shop and there is one and they are actually there is one person who is uh, just there for attending the customers that a lot of work is going on in our jewelry shop so you can see that so that a lot of people can get attracted to our shop and if one person coming and uh, just want to sell his the soul or uh, sell his gold or how much uh, i can get the value of this gold if someone will come and when it will show to that person from upstairs one uh, uh, the owner of the shop he will uh, who is in the way shop vaishnav he is actually telling keshav keshav madhava madhav that some previously he wants to speak madhava madhava and the pre madhav madhav then the uh, owner used to speak keshav keshav in the court language then he was saying that uh, who has come is some important personality or uh, some uh, person from your end only then that uh, servant he is actually who is actually uh, attending the customer he is actually speaking garuda pala that he is like a garuda pal who how much uh, how much uh, you want to cut his pocket you can cut so madhav madhav keshav keshav garuda pala like this uh, he used to that owner used to speak so this is the actual condition nowadays like in bhakti rasamrit sindhu we are just discussing it where we can get to the actual discussion of bhakti rasamrit sindhu is there if we can find that uh, we were getting the which we char dhara of jaip dharma and bhakti bhakti samrit sindhu if we can uh, actually uh, read jaip dharma under guidance of pure guru vaishnav then there will be no place for any sahajiya in that this is a very strange thing that uh, if uh, someone has read jaip dharma that why he don't know that this is the opposite way which he is following so all those prakrit sahajiyas actually it is advice of them that in anarth yukta vasta yeah, you can do madhuras bhajan okay the anarth can go on you can do uh, you can do here rasa leela so i have already uh, have mentioned this point uh, previously in the previous hari katha that murchit kasai dhyot kasai all these points i have already told you and bhagavat prapt bhagavat parshad deh all i have already told about these points and i have already told one point as well and this murchit kasai he is also siddh he is in, also in the siddh avastha condition maya ka asar he do the maya devi is uh, uh, prabhav is not there in on that uh, person the shloka actually what i am speaking now
so of this shlok they are just doing the undue advantage and those who are taking the undue advantage of this shloka out of 100% 99.99% people if they don't understand the inner meaning of the this shloka they can just discover to get the uh, external uh, view of the shloka meaning of the shloka the last line of this uh, shloka the first thing is that there is one mistake shraddhan mitam shraddha means to have firm faith just be careful about this point shraddha annitam shraddha annitam means that that shraddha which is the topmost treasure you are taking naturally that shraddha annitam shabd means it is surely i will not take it lightly at all why because it's shraddha annitam Shraddha Annita means Shraddha is decorated. This is a topmost Shraddha. This is actually a permanent Shraddha. So what is permanent Shraddha in Chaitanya Jiram Bhagavad Chaitanya Jiram Tamrit? If you have read that, then automatically you will, uh, you will understand what is written there. It is written that Shraddha means Shraddha Shabda means to have firm faith. Firm faith which cannot be, which is unbreakable. Su, Sudrid. Sudrid means, Su means, Sundh, Su means beautiful. Very, very delicate. Very, very beautiful. Very charming. The Su, they have just uh, applied here first. In this shloka. So it means not at all dirty. It is very delicate and beautiful. Sudrid. Drid means firm. Beautiful, delicate, approved and firm. That is that is Shraddha. That's Shraddha. By doing Krishna Bhakti, everything is done. Nothing is incomplete. Whatever duty I haven't done, I haven't uh, uh, served my mother, father, I haven't served my sister. Those who have actual Shraddha, they will not think of all this point. Those who don't have that permanent Shraddha, and they are actually, th- they don't want to do any kind of work, and they just don't want to. Just by leaving every mother, father, everything, they will say that I am big Vairagi. It is not like that. That uh, like mother, father are very old, I have to do, do their seva. And like the Yadu Maharaj is there. Uh, the name of the Yadu Maharaj in Srimad Bhagavatam is uh, uh, taken with full respect in Srimad Bhagavatam Ji Mahapuran. The name of the Yadu Maharaj in Srimad Bhagavad Mahapurana is uh, taken with, with due respect. Not like, not this much, but also, it he in in of all the sadhus, he is the topmost of all sadhus, number one sadhu. Sattama. Yadu is uh, being compared as a, he, who has a sadhu bhav inside his heart. He is the topmost, having the topmost sadhu bhav. But externally we can see that they have already ignored his father. You can already remember this point. Like Sukracharya, the daughter of Sukracharya, Devyani. And Vishwaparva's daughter is Sarvishta. They do, both have a friendship and they just uh, fight with each other on some, some uh, topic. So they don't have uh, the time to, uh, uh, they don't have the time. So Devjani, they just, uh, uh, they just uh, uh, fight with Devjani and Devjani just uh, uh, went into the hole of a well. And Mrigaya, and those persons, 
and jajati have uh, and jajati while uh, walking through that place he just uh, uh, seen that uh, girl who is just fall into the ditch of that well so it's so beautiful girl actually fall off and she is there and uh, by just giving his hand he just have uh, told her okay why uh, you have already taken my hand i am actually khatriya you are actually uh, why i can, how can i marriage this is actually a curse that this is the curse of a braspati that uh, the boy of braspati have uh, that n- no brahman uh, no brahman person can marriage me so that's why you have to marry me so when they just get married with each other when they that there was talking of uh, having marriage with uh, that girl so shukracharya has uh, spoken to visharba that because uh, shukracharya was very unhappy with her so if gurudev is not happy then everything will get destroyed so vishwambara already taken his her his uh, uh gurudev lotus feet and she said that uh, anything can happen if some gurudev will uh, be like not good and whatever aparad my daughter has done uh, so he said that like this it will not be there my daughter will definitely my my daughter will definitely uh, get married with the jajati but uh, and your daughter will go like a servant to his house okay over is he will go, she will go and jajati has already have taken the condition one condition is given to jajati that that sarvista is the daughter of the king but in the form of the punishment she is actually going as a servant in the house of uh, that jajati but be careful she don't actually don't do association of her but what happened reverse happened she is get, he is getting attraction towards her and shukracharya just given curse to him that you will become an old man you will you will not you will not able to do anything he he becomes a old man and he just take the lotus feet of shukracharya and speaking that uh, what who will uh, get uh, a uh, disadvantage about this is that i have become an old man now that uh, the disadvantage will be for your uh, daughter only oh i have given this uh, uh, sh- shrap this curse for uh, shukracharya thinking that oh so yes uh, my daughter will be at disadvantage that i have given this curse then shukracharya thinking and giving one uh, one number it to him that if you can exchange your age old age with some young man then you can exchange your age with that young man then uh, then yadu is actually a son of jajati and if you can give me he is asking his son yadu that if you can give me your young age then uh, i can i am actually can do association of my your then yadu speaking that no no i will not give. no 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 yadu speaking no i will not give why you are then there is one uh, uh, small boy puru and that's why in bhagavatam it is written of yadu giving due respect in bhagavatam because the what is the mood of yadu what is the motive of yadu if, if the motive of yadu is that if i will take the old age of my father then i can't do bhagavat seva and i will become lullified i will i can't do anything so that is not good i have to do bhagavat seva so that's why i won't give so yadu actually has ignored your his father but still but the uh, name of yadu is uh, very have uh, giving due respect in shrimad bhagavatam why because for krishna seva he has given his life for his krishna for krishna seva that's why of, and there is no other reason so that bonded condition is so painful that you cannot imagine if you will imagine it is out of imagination how for how much point you will imagine you can't understand the condition of the bonded souls if if we can all the last uh, 
द लास्ट डिजायर ऑफ गॉडिया भजन दैट इज टू गेट टू बिकम द वन डस्ट पार्टिकल ऑफ द लोटस फीट ऑफ श्री लरूप गोस्वामी पा दैट इज द एक्चुअल मोटिव बट इट डज नॉट मीन दैट वी विल जस्ट वी विल जस्ट किक उपदेश अमृत एंड बाई आफ्टर किकिंग उपदेश अमृत और रूप गोस्वामी बाद वी कैन जस्ट गो ऑन हेयरिंग एंड वी आर जस्ट थिंकिंग एंड वी विल जस्ट बी गोइंग आफ्टर रूप गोस्वामी बाद विल बी टेकिंग इज लोटस विथ दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इफ रूपानुग रागा रागानुगा भजन इज सो चीप इज सो चीप अवेलेबल चीपली अवेलेबल देन then our guru work what they have uh, and uh, and our shastras what in the, it is written in our injections we have already made them um, uh, we have already made them uh, shut up we have already made them shut up about this already made them careful about this upadesha amrit to chhodkar that by without upadesha amrit our life is nothing our life will be like totally barren totally destroyed and naraji maharaj also all uh, naraji maharaj maja one time uh, he was actually uh, he under the uh, lotus feet of sada shiv ji if you can uh, tell me about the you are taking actually seeing the ras leela of radha govind and if you can please tell me about the uh, sadhan bhajan that how to do what is the actual what is the tell me the ashtakale yam of uh, uh radha govind and then sada shiv speaking that i don't have that much of uh, uh knowledge about this but okay i have some knowledge so i can, i don't have this much adhikar that i can give you that uh, uh, give you updesh i don't have this much of knowledge so it is better that if you can you go to brinda devi you can go to brinda devi and just take her lotus feet on your head and she will definitely guide you about uh, how to do that ashtakale bhajan you go there brinda devi ka charan then uh, naraji going to brinda devi and uh, kusum sarovar ka at the bank of uh, kusum sarovar just opposite to that just opposite narad there is one narad kund there is one narad kund that is uh, there naraji maharaj by so many years he was actually doing lot of austerity swear austerity is there and just by taking the lotus feet of brinda devi on his head uh, that i just want to do uh, ashtakale leela so please just guide me then brinda devi actually speaking okay if you want to do if you can uh, do like this then definitely you will uh, she is doing the giving the updesh that is a very deep concept this is so uh, hidden concept that uh, nobody can hear about this if you don't have any um, confidence on it then you can just take the braj mandal parikrama book and you can uh, of my guru maharaj then you can see there it is written there then brinda devi is speaking that it is a secret of all the secrets then uh, it is uh, uh, for uh, it is not for everyone so narad ji actually this updesh actually given to narad ji you can just uh, think of this that he is sakshat narad ji but still uh, vrinda devi this is very careful vrinda devi speaking this is very secret of all the secret so she is she is speaking to narad ji about this who is such a great bhagwat bhakt so if you can uh, think that uh, maharaj is it actually open to us so he is gaudiya bhakt or sahaji or what you just please uh, give me that uh, understanding about that that he is sahaji or mayavadi or what that person who is speaking this foolish so this is actually going on so there are lot of uh, things that i have already uh, given regarding this and still i am giving it now also like the case अति विद्या अति विद्यान को विद्या दिस इज ऑल मायावादी दोज हु आर जस्ट नॉट फॉलोइंग द एक्चुअल आदेश ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव एंड दे आर जस्ट थिंकिंग दैट दे विल फॉलो देयर ओन पाथवे दे आर जस्ट हैविंग दिस फॉल सी गो दैट दे आर मोर देन गुरु वर्ग that is actually they are under the darkness of कु विद्या वेन गुरु वैष्णव यूज टू 
tell us uh, the strict regulations that you have to follow this but they don't want to follow those strict regulations because if they will follow those regulations of guru varg then they will not get uh, that uh, lab puja pratishtha from the external persons if we will do the anugatya of guru vishnu bhagwan then whatever the desire inside our heart that we will not get uh, we will not get in in our life and it means that to get the uh, anugatya of guru varg means to uh, get perfectly done in godia vaishnav pranali but they don't want to get into that that why prabhupada prabhupada want to uh, used to quote one story what that story is that prabhupada used to speak that one per pregnant lady those uh, that mother who has uh, given me that birth who whosoever be the mother uh, who who is pregnant i have already seen that that one child who has uh, just taken birth she has just uh, uh, she has just uh, uh, she has just uh, left his child in front of a temple so prabhupad used to speak that sometimes what happens that uh, our what our uh, mother who has given us child she actually just uh, uh she actually just got sometimes the pregnant sometimes uh, the mother who has given birth to the child she can also in uh, uh, some conditions can think of the child's uh, not thinking about the child's future she can just uh, can do a mangal of her child as well in some conditions बट हर तक यू नो हर तक इट इज देयर इन त्रिफला अमल की हर तक ऑल इज आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन सो हर तक इफ इट विल गो इन साइड द स्टमक इट विल नॉट गिव एनी it will not give any disadvantage to anyone like amla ki like amla if it will uh, go in the stomach it will not uh, give any disadvantage to the stomach so hartaki is not doing any uh, disadvantage to anyone in the stomach but hartaki it is not good in eating she it is very uh, hartaki is very uh, uh, sour in taste nobody will like it it is tasteless so prabhupad is told that the actual instructions of guru vaishnav that strict uh, upadesh of guru vaishnav that is like a uh, uh, snehamai mother who actually externally is just giving a lot of uh, prema to that child externally that actually guru vaishnav they actually have a, it's very sore the external uh, prema of that mother externally is very good but for guru vaishnav it is just the opposite it's very sore it's detest like, like uh, detestfulness is there it will we will not uh, get the taste but the result is very positive like all the worldly mother father brother uh, and worldly gurus Prabhupada always used to speak this point. Shiva ko chhe, shishya gulami ko chhe, shishya gulami ko chhe. Beshas, besha ke mantro di chhe. Prabhupada always used to speak this point. This is the actual Guru Giri of this modern world. What it's going on? That all the mother, father, uh, and uh, brothers, and all those gurus. all those bahimu gurus they are actually giving me very tasteful advice that prabhupad that's why prabhupad used to speak this point this uh, vichar that that if you want to if you want that absolute mangal in your life then i must ignore the countless voices of opinion that are and listen only to that of the real life so that's why prabhupad told this point Prabhupada always used to speak this point that I have taken that uh, 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 that uh, uh, I have taken that shelter of that uh, sh- 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 of that Sadguru who can give me actual hundred percent uh, uh, mangal in my life. But when there is no but, then how? 
when there is no question of coming but then how that sadguru who will give me actually 100 100% mangal that i on to that on to the lotus feet lotus feet of that gurudev i will just uh, take the shelter and i will just uh, speak hari katha and hari kirtan all the time it's not like that uh, gurudev has just sent me to a foreign and just uh, told me that you can just uh, marry a foreign girl and you can just uh, take the money and you can come back this is not guru this is not the definition of guru this is this is pashu this is beast this is not guru like the material world all the material world uh, mother father sister all the family members whatever the advice they are giving us they are actually uh, externally looking very tasteful it's madhumay it's like honey and it's maya mai also but that's why it's uh, feels like it is very like honey to us but uh, where is actual permanent uh, honey it is at the lotus feet of krishna or uh, one name of krishna is madhu madhusudan is different he is madhusudan but still there is one more name of uh, krishna that is madhu like om madhu om madhu is written in vedas and it is also written in kirtan as well that is already written in the kirtan as well so madhu is actually bhagwan shri krishna only so madhu is not our wife madhu is not my child or father or anyone but external in this external world no, nothing is madhu madhu is bhagwan shri krishna himself but but this uh, apparent uh, madhu uh, um, Uh, this uh, desire, these external advice what they are giving us those very uh, very sweet sweet words they are actually advice they are speaking to us the all those bonded soul they are just uh, get attracted to that like pralad maharaj speaking bataya uh, one point that uh, he is actually uh, speak pralad maharaj speaking to all those his friends in his school in his school about those small kids small asuras jo dekho that you see kala charanam anurakta dhiya ek chhota sa bachcha that uh, uh, small child just has taken birth and when uh, 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 and uh, that mother is just not feeling that i should just leave my uh, boy and uh, when that child is just uh, uh, to the to that ch- small child uh, she is giving very sweet words to that child and he uh, he and the mother is giving a nice nice food and nice nice uh, clothes to that child small boy and she is always just uh, busy in giving a tea to that child oh milk to that child oh so nice and uh, if uh, he is in the very small condition very small child then he she used to take her in the lap and just want to kiss him and wants to give prema to him and just want to give two to three words and when he used to, that the small child uses to papa papa mama mama then pralad maharaj used to speak that point to those small asuras kala maksha when that child is just speaking that uh, uh, small uh, words then every he she is just uh, feeling that taste of sweetness and just he is feeling all the tiredness going from her and she is everything uh, giving uh, all rice milk and she is just giving so tastefulness to that child so this pralad mar actually speaking point this point but the person always uh, forget that the guru vaishnav actually of their external material mind and your body they are actually not uh, um, they are not actually seeing that why you have come for guru vishnu in front of guru vishnu they are not actually uh, not, not seeing your mangal of your body and they are not want to give uh, the body related satisfaction and they don't want to get born to become a servant of yours and they will not become get uh, can uh, will come in your life if you want to become servant of guru vishnu then you become servant of them you can't make them servant
इट इज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न बाय श्री रूप गोस्वामी पानी उपदेश अमृतर एक्सटर्नली गुरु वैष्णव एक्सटर्नली दे थिंक दैट दे आर वॉट दे आर स्पीकिंग ओ सो डिफिकल्ट सो हार्श दे आर स्पीकिंग इट इज सो शार्प दैट वी डोंट फाइंड इट वेरी गुड दैट्स वाई दैट्स वाई नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू डू द अनुगत्य ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव we want to just want to get controlled by maya devi but our guru var ke already told us have already given us this instruction that to get the anugat the anugatya of guru vaishnav everything our uh, sitting eating sleeping walking whatever kriya whatever action we are doing all should be controlled by pure guru vaishnav and uh, in uh, forward in uh, in our coming time we can also become goswami goswami is not like uh, if some person has uh, some organization given us a title that you are a goswami that the actual uh, goswami rup goswami pad already speaking in his upadesh that those who persons who are actually following uh, shri la rup rup goswami upadesh these are actually goswami those uh, organizations external uh, material uh, organization they have given us a very big title like yoga acharya maha acharya like this that it doesn't mean that he will be a goswami what they will get out of that then prabhupad used to speak that that uh, uh, in front if uh, someone in front prabhupad speaking that in front of the name some if some 1 km long title is there then still he will not get any benefit if uh, some guru vaishnav if uh, pure guru vaishnav has went uh, approved us haven't uh, uh, taken uh, us into uh, their shelter then our life is gone so all the drama of the disciple if uh, guru vaishnav pure guru vaishnav haven't accepted us from heart then whatever my dirty pratishtha lab puja everything uh, they will just uh, cheated me just by giving this because i am a cheater so that's why they i am getting cheated oh you are actually become very grown up so you are become a very big vaishnav there is one maharaj i know he was just living in uh, front of a uh, library he, he actually told me to write the glorification of kunti devi so uh, seven to eight years back i have already just given the glorification of kunti devi his name is ashram maharaj he is a good uh, uh, he is a good uh, sadhu but now he is actually doing a uh, sikh leela a prakrit leela there is one person who actually just got failed uh, i just don't want to speak about his name just want to take the siksha out of this the moral the knowledge about uh, uh, prakrit knowledge out of that there is very uh, smart he thinks himself as a very smart uh, uh, mahatma he just got fail in one organization and just taken the shelter of ashram maharaj and uh, he said that you just give me diksha and maharaj speaking that uh, my age is also increasing okay if he will just take off all the math mandir and the temple then okay he just given him a diksha and then sanyas and then he can understand uh, what kind of poison he has inside his heart and he is just overflowing it out of his mouth and he is just like a scorpio he is just uh, coming in the math and what kind of poison he is just uh, overflowing from his mouth maharaj can understand that ashram maharaj so he is uh, maharaj maharaj speaking that he is not uh, uh, he wants to become acharya and he just want to make lot of disciple and don't want to he just want to cheat persons and just want to make temples and just don't want to follow me at all so maharaj speaking that okay so i have to cheat him so whenever he used to come now he is become uh, sick but uh, maharaj used to speak that oh, like you so big acharya there is no big acharya in this whole world so nice kirtan you are doing so nice singing you are doing so nice updesh you are giving it to the uh, disciple because maharaj know that he is a cheater so i will not do any kind of strict rules regulation i'll apply on him i will just uh, be cheating him we always thinking guru vishnu always used to cheat us he is always thinking that uh, he has become a big hanuman but actually he don't know that uh, actually guru vishnu is cheating him there in the market always one song is going on no palagan 
इन बंगाल बंगाली उस में पाला गान लाइक वी आर जस्ट मेकिंग स्टोरी ऑफ प्रहलाद महाराज ही इज एक्चुअली ऑल द पर्सन दे आर सो नाइस दे आर एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग ऑफ प्रहलाद महाराज दैट इज कॉन पाला गान प्रभुपाद एक्चुअली यूज टू हेट ऑल दिस दो जस्ट वॉन्ट टू डू लाइक दिस एंड प्रभुपा एंड महाराज जी यूज टू चीट इम दैट ओ सो नाइस यू आर सिंगिंग ऑल द पर्सन कमिंग टू मी एंड स्पीकिंग दैट योर शिष्य इज वेरी कंपेटेबल ही इज सो गुड पाला गान एंड जस्ट डूइंग गोपी गीता एंड चैतन्य चरिंद ओ हो सो नाइस ही स्पीकिंग सो नाइस ही सिंगिंग सो दैट दैट्स ऑफ महाराज इज जस्ट Uh, cheating him so to give any sannyas to become to give uh, the acharya ship to give give acharya ship to anyone this is not the 100% document that he this is not the yardstick this is not the scale to measure that he is uh, uh, that how big acharya he is how how much examples you want i can give you those examples but the situation is like this guru uh, this what we can do he that's why he has just uh, left his gurudev okay you were just want to take uh, you want to become acharya okay you take by heart he is not acharya but what you can do the situation is like this that you can't do anything in that so pehla baat to ye hai so the first thing is that prabhupad always used to speak that we uh, the when guru vaishnav used to do uh, strict regulations on us apply strict regulation on those who are actually getting it 100% those who are always wanted to uh, get uh, 100% on that pathway and they just want to get on that pathway 100% and uh, in the in the transcendental world also he uh, will follow those regulations that is actual snigdh shishya those who are following the strict rules and regulations of guru vishnu all the time 100% whatever uh, uh, difficulty is there still he will uh, be following that that are called snigdh shishya otherwise others are not uh, actually snigdh shishya like this uh, upadesh amrit uh, we are just uh, reciting after reciting upadesh amrit like shri like we recite shrimad bhagavat mahapuran parikshit maharaj uh, uh, is under the guidance of sukhdev goswami he has done the aarti of his guru pad padma so much that that uh, sukhdev goswami was is telling that to gurudev whatever you have done i have uh, very, very thankful to you what you have given me i don't have anything what i can give it to give it to you back this parikshit mara speaking to sukhdev goswami bad Uh, like better than this uh, what is what is better than this what you have given me that transcendental uh, rasa uh, of that transcendental world which you have given me so that you have given me the property to go to that transcendental world this is actually the uh, amrit which you have given me and when uh, in anarth yukt avastha when there is anarth inside our heart when we are just want to discuss the transcendental aprakrit ras it is strictly prohibited in anarth yukt avastha to uh, talk about aprakrit ras i have given a lot of example on this and i will give more examples regarding this like uh, bhagavad ji mahapuran there is one shloka i will just uh, in the of the first canto i am just explaining you one shloka that to do bhagavat seva means and to serve bhakt bhagavat and granth bhagavat both do like gokaran ji maharaj who, who have already given updesh to his father about this only that uh, all kind of lok dharma whatever material dharma they are just to throw them without any gaping you have to throw all those uh, that transcendental dharma what is that dharma bhagavad dharma you have to serve bhagavad dharma only 
you have to serve guru vaishnav and sadhus and under their guidance you just uh, what you can't get under their guidance you can get uh, you can get krishna prem even by association of pure sadhus which is impossible to get still you can get that krishna prem by sadhu sang Bhakti Vinod Thakur already is speaking in his commentary that Sarv Siddhi means that even Krishna Prem you can get. And in Chaitanya Chirit Amrit also it is written that Krishna Bhakti is the uh, root cause of uh, our birth. There are a lot of uh, vichar which I will be explaining that how Bhakti and Bhagwan Bhakti or all in one platform and how they have come on one platform and uh, uh, in the near future i will be just explaining every everything slowly steadily how bhakti is going on nityam means that uh, every day every day means it's a general meaning nityam means it's constant Actual meaning of Nitya can also be meaning constant, that without any gapping, continuous. That Nityam here means constant. That uh, sometimes we are doing and we are not doing every day. Okay, I can do for two minutes. No, it is not like that. Nashto Prayashu Bhadreshu. You just need to be careful on this point. It means that whatever anarth is there inside our heart, all those anarth rashis, when it is almost going from our heart, oh, some kind of uh, like it's not there, but still uh, it is uh, equivalent to none. Nothing it's there. So just to see what the what is the verdict of the shastras. Pray means it's almost gone. Those anarth rashis from our heart, it is almost destroyed, almost gone. All all anarths are almost gone. In this condition, that nitya bhagavat seva you have to do under the guidance of Bhagavad Granth, pure pure Guru Vaishnav, Sad Guru, and and after that. And if you will constantly do this, uh, go under the guidance of pure Vaishnav, then what will happen? Then you will get Nashtaki Bhakti. Then only Nashtaki Bhakti is possible. Bhagavati is the seventh case ending here oh, in Sanskrit. Uttam Shlok in Bhagavad, in Bhagavad Uttam Shlok that under the lotus feet of Bhagavan that is why seventh case ending is used here Bhagavati Uttam Shlok hai. Uttam, Uttam Shlok means no one is there apart from Bhagavan only Vishnu Tattva and according to us we, when we can speak about Krishna Tattva Uttam Shloka means uh, topmost by the topmost shlokas we are just uh, uh, reciting different different uh, uh, shlokas and uh, doing arati of that absolute truth and there is another meaning that by when there is no rajogun tamogun inside his heart there is not a smell of rajogun and tamogun inside his heart, that is called uttam shloka so both these meanings you can get but uh, we don't have time so we can't explain too much because time is not there so uttam shlok bhagavatam that bha- to get the lot under the lotus feet of uh, bhagwan we can get nashta bhakti nashta bhakti can be uh, discovered and nashta bhakti if you have then uh, forward in your bhajan life what will happen then you definitely you will not be getting cheat, uh, cheat, cheated by the cheater. You will not get to hell uh, by just uh, hearing all uh, 
false siddhant which are because this is a document i am not giving any uh, uh, artificial siddhant of my own what first they have spoken that if nastik vi bhakti has already there inside our heart then what will happen then when whether nastik bhakti has come inside our heart or not what is the proof there regarding that there should be some proof somebody can uh, uh, put a question on that somebody can uh, forcefully put question on this that whether he has got nastik bhakti or not what is the uh, proof so it is written in shrimad bhagavatam that if nastik bhakti is there that there is one uh, pathway to understand that yeah you understand this point when nastiki bhakti is uh, there inside his heart or not if nastiki bhakti is there then then what will happen that at that time rajo rajo bhav and tamogan all that kaam krodh lobh everything all on earth which is there inside the heart it will almost be gone from his heart it will not be uh, staying inside his heart it will not be there it will just be uh, vanquished from our heart and our heart will not be getting any disturbed feeling inside by this rajo gun and tamogan what does it mean just be careful about the be attentive it is like, just like a legal this is a legal vichar of the shastra this is an authentic vichar of the shastra that at that point that all those rajogun and tamo bhava inside your heart it will all go not stay inside your heart and will not disturb your heart and maybe some uh, you have some unearth inside your heart uh, left then be sure then my heart will not be going going to feel any disturbance by them it means that uh, there is some uh, smell of uh, some unearth some kama is there why why because because that he has been established in satya gun ha uh, because he has already established himself in satva gun his heart is there always established in satva gun so that why he is getting that transcendental happiness inside his heart at that point there is uh, no burning uh, feeling inside his heart there is no uh, anxiety inside his heart material anxiety and in that uh, uh, situation that condition and if uh, if they are just taking uh, just uh, hearing uh, uh, from the lotus mouth of guru pure guru vaishnav hari katha and hari kirtan they are uh, just hearing achirena dhira achirena dhira here you just be careful they are actually dhir uh, vyakti full of patience shraddha anvit uh, persons they have full of shraddha this is not a normal shraddha they they are actually decorated in a permanent shraddha let uh, they know they don't have any uh, doubt about krishna that krishna is having a material kama inside his heart and he is just enjoying with the gopis in a material mood this kind of uh, enjoying mood this kind of, of confidence on krishna will not get uh, shraddha shraddhan mitam here means that he is decorated by permanent shraddha that is not all ordinary shraddha but it actually permanent shraddha and uh, and there is also one point of anushri nivas that when you will do shravan you will hear i have already spoken about the shrimad bhagavat mahapuran shloka this shloka that is the point of nitya bhagavatam seva when he will do uh, when he will hear from from the mahajans from a pure guru vaishnav then by serving them then he will get that uh, nitya seva anu matlab 
अनु मीन्स अंडर दे आर गाइडेंस अंडर दे आर अनुगत्य दे आर ऑलरेडी देयर इन वन गोत्यू दैट अनुगत्य शुड बी कंटिन्यूस शुड नॉट इट शुड बी अन इंटरप्टेड देर शुड नॉट बी एनी गैपिंग इफ यर इफ देयर इज एनी गैपिंग देन माया विल देन थ्रो हिम आउट अनुश्रीनिवास कंटिन्यूस एंड and just by remembering that uh, constantly of the under the guidance of the lotus feet of uh, guru vaishnav and bhagwan when our heart is totally cleared of all the anarthas when where when gurudev told us that uh, you just uh, tell us uh, tell other people about the glorification of krishna and just uh, try to glorify krishna and his devotees then what will happen If there is some uh, any unearth inside our heart left, then all will go. All will all will get vanquished. Firstly, when we will get bhakti, nini prate means first he will get bhakti, and then remnants of the unearth is uh, there. Then it will get vanquished because he is not a bhakt now. Like already I have told previously, some marking is there uh, inside his heart. Some smell of kama is there. when he will be doing bhakti under guidance of pure guru vaishnav bhakti then that param, marking will go out of from his heart Bhagavad remaining on earth achiren means na chiren that not too much time it will take very uh, quickly he will uh, get and the remaining uh, all that uh, garbage will go out and he will just get the nitya seva in the transcendental world to so, at that point when our heart is just like uh, flowers always happy like flowers we will get so much anand inside our heart that uh, what kind of anand it is we can't uh, understand we can't define that kind of anand what we get so much anand is there inside our why so much anand we are getting because we are doing uh, anandmay bhagwan seva that's why definitely anand will definitely come inside heart that transcendental happiness will definitely be there and there is and when there is no question if there is some question and some everything everything gone from the heart when there is no question left inside the heart no, nothing will be left inside the heart no on earth will be there because heart heart uh, because our heart and material mind will be attaining the shuddha sattva stage and there will be no on earth at that stage and it will get enlightened by shuddha sattva so much that everywhere there will be lightning of shuddha sattva gun inside our heart that's in this if no on earth will be there of this there is no doubt there is no question of on earth at this stage and a person is getting a shuddha sattva gun inside his heart इन साइड अवर हार्ट वी विल गेट द दर्शन ऑफ भगवान ऑल्सो एंड एट द सेम टाइम वी विल गेट सो मच हैप्पीनेस सो मच हैप्पीनेस दैट वी कॉन्ट एक्सप्लेन दैट सो मच हैप्पीनेस सो मच हैप्पीनेस दैट वी कॉन्ट एक्सप्लेन वी कॉन्ट एक्चुअली एक्सपेक्ट दैट काइंड ऑफ हैप्पीनेस वॉट वी विल गेट सो नाउ what the shloka i have already started i will just uh, explain that shloka in front of you the actual uh, meaning of upadesha amrit to is to get ananya bhakti 
अनन्य भक्ति आई एम नॉट अनन्य भक्ति इज जस्ट अ जनरल टर्म नॉट अनन्य भक्ति एक्चुअली अनन्य प्रेम भक्ति रूपानुग भक्ति इन साइड अवर हार्ट इट विल गेट एक्टिवेटेड बिकॉज रूप को स्वामी पास स्पीकिंग दैट इफ ही स्पीकिंग सो इट इज एक्चुअली गौडियम अट स्पीकिंग बिकॉज गौडियम अट इज अंडर द अनुगत्य ऑफ गाइडेंस ऑफ रूप को स्वामी सो द एम ऑफ उपदेश अमृत इज टू गेट प्रतिष्ठित इन रूपानुग भक्ति That is the actual aim. That is the actual def- definition Bhagavan of Upadesha Amrit. Bhagwan, Bhagwan always want to take the dust of the lotus feet of the devotees, and he always want uh, those the dust particle on his head. He always want to take the uh, charanamrit of the devotees. He is always busy. Already in Chetanya Bhagwat Chetanya Mahaprabhu already speaking. that he just want to take the mahaprabhu want to take the charnamrit of that brahman and in the rajsu yagya also so krishna also just uh, washing the lotus feet of all the brahmans and sadhus and uh, uddhav ji also he uh, bhagwan krishna told that uh, i am just going uh, behind uh, devotees why so that uh, their dust particle can go on on my head chalo theek hai is bare mein charcha so we will just uh, uh, discuss this uh, later that what is the bhav of krishna actually towards their devotees and the shloka i have started previously isme in this shloka kleshagni 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 agni kleshagni that klesh that klesh all kinds of uh, distress because of the previous sanskar in a previous uh, karamphal which is there inside the heart of the jiva it is already there because of their previous karamphal whatever they got uh, by they are just getting their body this body and they are getting that purv karamphal as well inside their head that is all distress that is all clash inside their heart and they will get that because they are not at all uh, getting transcendental uh, hari katha and hari kirtan and her transcendental hari devotees are not there where there is no hari katha where is no hari kirtan and no devotees then that is a topmost distress in our life that is a topmost distressful condition in our life where when bhakti is not there inside our heart kleshagni means that it is a definition of uh, bhakti rup goswami pad has uh, already uh, pointed is pointed this out that all kinds of klesh birth after birth because there are different categories of klesh as well distress there are lot of uh, categorization of klesh as well it is already written in rasamrit sindhu by rup goswami pad the seed of that the beej and the bijan mukh when it is not in the seed form uh, properly when it is not germinated properly so these are different kinds of anarth rup go swami pad explaining the samri sindhu so klesh agni subada subada so if all these klesh are all these distress uh, when they will get out of our uh, life that is why it is written klesh agni this there is a clash like distress it will all get destroyed shubhada means it is all kind of mangal is there all, all mangal mai bhakti devi is all mangal mai that is why shubhada shubh means there are different kinds of meaning of shubha as well shubh the actual definition because uh, some person can speak the other definition because they think some karam karni people thinking that they are thinking that that is actually shubh that is actually mangal mai and all the material people they are just thinking that whatever the rule regulation are following they uh, the material regulations they are actually shubh they are actually thinking like this but what is actual shubh actual shubh is krishna only what actual shubh is actual shubh is krishna himself shubh means shubhada that is giving all kind of happiness all absolute happiness you will get in your life that is actually called shubhada and inside shubhada bhaktin mukhi shukriti is also counted in shubhada 
and all the bonded souls actually they are they are just uh, doing their own efforts prabhupada always used to speak this point that they are all doing their own efforts by their own individual efforts they are just want that uh, we get all happiness in our life absolute happiness they are just making arrangement of uh, getting that absolute uh, happiness in their life but in, in return they will just get unhappiness they there is no point of getting uh, absolute happiness in their point but uh, the bonded soul always by their own individual efforts he always think that i am just doing uh, my own mangal but that uh they he will get only distress in reverse so they they will just open the doors for unhappiness that is why shila swarup goswami pad in chaitanya under by doing uh, the glorification of chaitanya mahaprabhu he has written already spoken this point that mangal that by which by that mangal Uh, by that mangal if uh, we can't get out of that amangal then there is no point of getting that by attaining that mangal uh, no un uh, amangal can come like no unhappiness can come so we can we should uh, take the shelter of that mangal vastu so mangal are uh, different kind of mangals are there like uh, there uh, like uh, some uh, person is just educating one uh, child uh, he is just arranging all the children education and after uh, g- the child children is getting educated then what happens then he become a very uh, he is he is become a very great material pandit and after that he just became uh, uh, he already have uh, uh, read economics and after that he is doing all kind of uh, taking black money and all so somebody has given money for his mangal for his happiness so that he can get support but uh, his actual mangal but uh, he got in reverse a mangal because unhappiness uh, it gives uh, unhappiness birth to unhappiness i have already told one story that in mitrapur mat there is one boy who used to come he is just 16 to 18 years old and he used to come daily for in the mandir for he used to clean the mandir and he always used to da- dandavat maharaj and he always used to take darshan of aarti and then he used to come uh, go to the house he don't have any job or something and after uh, when his age become 20 24 or 24 he didn't get any job and he is very uh, uh, poor he because he don't have father and already father left and uh, mother is very old and and he don't have any income he is just doing uh, some income by some tuition so uh, getting some money for his uh, personal use and for tuition up till how much time he can do some tuition and get money so because uh, not so much income he is not getting at that uh, at that time so he used to get uh, only 5000 rupees by uh, giving tuition to two times a day then what happened after later on that his uh, chacha his uh, uh, close by just uh, told that you haven't got any job so okay i'll just help you i'll support you i'll just give you 50000 rupees you just start one business of uh, pan betel nut betel leaf you do the business of betel leaf and you give me the money afterwards no worries then he started the business and uh, slowly steadily he always used to take the take the aarti darshan of bhagwan i know because he has the blessing of guru vishnu and if you will take the uh, blessing of guru vishnu in the reverse direction then it uh, amangal will come then uh, straight away what happen that please i should get uh, when he is getting the aarti darshan uh, then he always used to speak in front of the dt that okay i should get uh, this much of uh, money from my business this that i should get mangal in my life so like this when he actually he has when his business is already established he t- couldn't come to gaudiyamat himself uh, he is only coming on sundays there now just for 10 minutes only taking charnamrit or doing parikrama and taking dandavat and mara speaking why are not coming to the mat because actually the situation is like this maharaj and then uh, the mata ji has given uh, his uh, marriage and after marriage his uh, situation become more worst 
now he has he don't have time now even he don't have even time for eating so what to speak of darshan so no now in one month only he is going to mat only once and in the market he used to meet maharaj and why you are not coming to the mat maharaj speaking to that person because he said that uh, actually the lot of work is there i have to go to my wife and my child so like this the that ji pers jivatma who is actually going towards bhakti who was actually going towards bhakti his uh, life has become miserable now by this in this case our sub swarup damodar goswami is all speaking this point in this condition that the mercy of chaitanya gorang mahaprabhu is so much that there is no amangal uh, in that in that in the in that way there is all the time mangal all the time happiness so that shubh kleshagni shubh the what i have told you so shubh actually is uh, the word i have used here there is uh, some general meaning also and some inner meaning also of this word shubh here rupa goswami pad already speaking shubh means that he is getting uh, that lab from uh, uh, in relation with bhakti that bhakti mukhin bhakti mukhi and bhakti unmukh that what is uh, good for bhakti and what is not good for bhakti so he is getting uh, the mangal related to bhakti mukhi sukriti that's why uh, uh, rupa goswami pad will not speak like this that uh, th- this is not actually shubh like if uh, some person is getting married he is getting some job it is actually temporary it is all de- destructible whether it is today it is not permanent and tomorrow it will not be there everything will get scattered so this is not shubh what rupa goswami pad is speaking and moksha laguta krit our uh, that four uh, 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 personal desires of our life dharma arth kaam and moksha these are the four principal desires of our life we just want to get these uh, four arths four personal desires we just want to make in our life dharma means general dharma bhagavad dharma to and to just think of bhagavad dharma is a very topmost thing so dharma they always think about general dharma only where they will get uh, maintain their uh, material life and they will get material benefits they will dharma means that uh, they will uh, do some good things and they will get heaven and again they will come to this material arth means that to get money and uh, so that you can secure your life and you can uh, become uh, enjoy the life with full uh, vigor and arth and if the arth is going to get associated with kama i have already spoken about this point in rai ramanand sambad in the topics of rai ramanand sambad i have already spoken this point jo that tab tak ye artho ka value hai the value of that earth is up till that point when it is uh, it is uh, uh, when it is used under the the service of guru vaishnava bhagwan when it is used in reverse whether just for in sensual enjoyment uh, it is used then uh, actually earth is misused so our uh, uh, material bondage will become more and more tighter and dharma arth kaam moksh kaam means mostly the persons have the last final desire you do the dharma and you will get some uh, you will get the fruit and you will not get material amangals no tax officer can come to us no one happiness will be there and our life will be stable and that actually they means uh, dharma and the last last uh, is the kaam that to get enjoyment from the karma what they have done so what kind of person he can uh, different different kind of kama inside his heart if he get uh, successful in the uh, a certain certain uh, thing then uh, who is getting that he is actually uh, getting respected in this material world moksha actually nobody is thinking about uh, maybe rare one or two person in uh, lakhs of uh, crores of person only one or two people are thinking of moksha that to get out of this uh, material bondage uh, if some some person has desire of this also it is very good 
एंड फिफ्थ पुरुषार्थ इज द कृष्ण प्रेम दैट बाई डूइंग भगवत भक्ति अंडर गाइज ऑफ प्योर गुरु वैष्णव वैन वी विल गेट द एक्चुअल प्रेमा अंडर द लोटस फीट ऑफ ऑन टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ कृष्ण दैट इज द एब्सोलूट भक्ति दिस काइंड ऑफ भक्ति इज अ रेयर टू गेट This is not a usual uh, point that to get Krishna Prem in your life, that even in Brahmlok also, uh, even in Brahmlok also the uh, uh, Brahma will uh, arrange arti arrangement for you. When up uh, when that Jeev Atma will leave that body, then Brahma will definitely arrange the arti of that uh, Jeev Atma who has uh, attained Krishna Prem, so that he can. The, after that uh, he leaving his body after leaving viraja uh, he can just uh, come to puramlok and he will do his uh, aarti so he will after that after viraja he will penetrate the brahma jyoti and after that he'll go to sadashiv lok and after that he'll go to vaikunth lok and according to his siddhi according to his swarup he will uh, get the chamber he will get the uh, his uh, swarup there he will be serving there if he has done uh, service of ram ji then he'll get ayodhya If he has done uh, service of Nirsinga, then then he will go to Nirsinga uh, Dham. And if he is not getting in uh, Avadburi, then he is not getting his heart in Avadburi. Then he will go to Vrindavan. After that, so this is the rule actually. So Kleshagni Shobhada Moksha Laguta Krit. And and those who are getting bhakti in their life. those who are getting that uh, transcendental very rare diamond like thing in their uh, life like bhakti then what will happen bale kleshagni shubhada mokha lagata krit mokho ko then that moksha moksha will also be become detestful no taste will be there for moksha and uh, for other persons uh, for other person moksha is very respectable and they are thinking that it's a very big thing but for a bhakt krishna bhakt it is not a major thing for them not a big thing for them they are thinking uh, uh, moksha also as lagu as detestful oh, so nothing nothing is there in moksha he always thinking like that the krishna bhakt bhakti is just like this it will just make uh, that moksha also detestful and sudurlabh and you just uh, understand the meaning of sudurlabh durlabh means it's very rare it can't be attained and sudurlabh it's so rare sudurlabh means it's so rare so rare to attain it can't be attained very easily to just get the drama of bhakti is very easy but to get actual bhakti is very very difficult kitna kathin hai so very difficult that uh, guru maharaj always used to uh, explain this point that to speak uh, to do to give lecture in front of other it's very easy but to but to actually get bhakti is very difficult i'll give one example bhagwan already speaking in the 10th canto to get to bhakti on to my lotus feet is the topmost thing in the life of a sadhak or in the life of a, a jiva that is actual amrit what the uh, amrit we are getting in the heaven it is not actual amrit this is actually not amrit amrit is actually those we are getting it from the uh, sadhus guru vishnu what we are getting that bhakti inside our heart that is actual amrit what uh, guru vishnu uh, is giving us uh, that bhakti on to the lotus feet of bhagwan that is actual bhakti and actual amrit it is very very rare sudarlam means is very very rare almost impossible to get by very good fortune jeev go swami pad has already told uh, this point ahai tu ki bhakti that that uh, bhakti devi is independent and uh, no one can uh, actually uh, uh, force bhakti devi get to uh, can pick up bhakti devi it's not possible bhakti devi is <coughs> independent krishna bhakti janma mool hai sadhu sangho to sadhu sangho and uh, by and if there is sadhu sang by association of sadhu is there then why everyone is not getting bhakti he is going for sadhu sang he is associating with sadhu but actually it's not actual sadhu sang 
bhakti who will get in one word i will speak that this is a the, the definite point but why everyone is not getting bhakti every person is going uh, to hear hari katha why they are not getting uh, bhakti they are all going to sadhu actually that person is not going for sadhu sang they are just playing a drama of sadhu sang they are actually kapat persons when sadhu associating with sadhu means to get the uh, to have confidence onto the lotus feet of sadhu of guru vishnu and previous 10 to 12, 20 years he is just going to godiamat and coming but uh, up till now he don't have that uh, which are inside his heart to get diksha in godiamat that is a very depth in depth uh, analysis point so to make fool of uh, all of you it's possible but not to make fool of me it's not possible because of gurudev's blessings a person coming in godiamat for last 20 years but he don't have that desire uh, to get uh, diksha he is always giving donation he is taking charnamrit always going here and there and just to beg dandwa to all the maharaj but still he is not getting that desire to in 20 years he is not have that which are inside his heart that my life is actually incomplete without diksha so i should get uh, dikshit i should get diksha so that i can do bhagavad bhajan he is not thinking of that so whatever he is there in the 20 years in godiamat he is just making a drama he is not doing actual sadhu sang if he has done actual association of a sadhu then definitely inside his heart he will get that feeling to get guru sharan ashray to get the lotus feet of gurudev because without getting gurudev lotus feet uh, hari bhajan cannot get started we if we don't have sharnagati then we can't uh, start our bhajan whosoever maharaj is there whosoever maharaj has uh, done lot of shastras and he is speaking in front of them, then before uh, sharnagati he will ca- cannot uh, start his bhajan if he can uh, he just want lab puja pratishtha just want money power that's it so you can understand this point now that uh, just by in the drama of sadhu sang in the name of sadhu sang but everyone is not uh, getting bhakti i am just speaking a hai to ki bhakti guru vishnu are always giving a hai to ki bhakti to everyone uh, guru dev has given a hai to ki bhakti to us also uh, that why we are not getting a hai to ki bhakti because there is one point in front of that hidden hidden point a hai to ki bhakti doesn't mean that uh, uh, that that uh, you don't have any seva mood uh, in relation to bhagwan it is a hai to ki because vishnu vishnu and vishnu vishnu if we have some positive moods uh, related to vishnu vishnu bhagwan then because gurudev's radar uh, heart is like radar it is already there inside the heart that hai to ki bhakti but if uh, some uh, from some uh, other country uh, some person wants to come uh, to our country then in a radar we just can catch that from where that person is coming from which country so in the same manner gurudev also have that radar transcendental radar that sensitivity is there inside their heart they can just catch that who can who is actually taking when uh, inside is the heart of vishnu vaishnav dham nam if he is getting some uh, belief uh, inside his heart then only guru vaishnav can uh, transfer that hai to ki bhakti inside his heart o plus hai to ki o means that om o um like it starting the word vishnu o means o means vishnu o means uh, vishnu o means brahma and ma means mahesh shiva so in uh, relation with the vishnu vishnu and bhagwan if there is some positive mood shown by some jiva then guru vishnu will definitely they will give their whole life in order to protect that uh, jiva he will give everything for uh, that jiva because the he, the guru vishnu knows that they have some positive mood they will get that hai to ki bhav from guru vishnu okay some positive point is there i have to give kripa means some positive so that if a person in all the market place they can why they are not getting that i have to give kripa and the word i have already explained 
it's very rare sudarlam means it's very rare it's almost impossible to get is the all it is the rarest object to get sandranand tense enjoyment if there there is one uh, happiness which is very light or oh, some uh, neighbor uh, in a neighborhood someone has passed one exam but when uh, our uh, child will get that uh, letter of some uh, job or something then there will be a, a rain of happiness in our house and sandranand means that anand that happiness is uh, cannot be compared with the anand of the material happiness because there are different types of uh, happiness uh, in uh, categorized but it is it looks like material happiness but it is not like that it is purely different from material happiness it is doesn't come in the category of material happiness so that is why sandranand means that ghanibhut anand that dense enjoyment just gets inside the heart that is called sandranand and uh, the vishesh atma the vishesh atma means that uh, a different uh, swarupa of atma we can just uh, get and the topmost the topmost uh, thing is that that krishna will just run Uh, be, uh, behind that devotee like uh, it is uh, already we can that bhagwan is always sar- sarva karshak all attractive but you should always have this uh, description as well which can catch bhagwan and pull bhagwan narad bhakti sutra light in my narad bhakti sutra i will just explain this in the next week and uh, uh, so slowly i'll be just be discussing two to three shlokas uh, fastly and just through upadesh amrit is not that analytical discussion we will discuss it slowly steadily so that each and every point we will uh, we can discuss each and every word narad bhakti sutra in narad bhakti sutra i will just show this point i'll just uh, show this proof that that which attracts krishna which attracts krishna so much these kind of shlokas let us uh, leave this here and uh, we don't have any much this much time to discuss so next week we will definitely uh, uh, kartik vrat actually is starting so no worries we will uh, actually it will start it is good so at that point at that uh, point we will just uh, under the anugatya of shri larup goswami we will uh, just get uh, one uh, we'll just get uh, one um, opportunity to get the anugatya of rup goswami path like prabhupad already have uh, under the guidance of rup goswami path has shown the anugatya bhav of the rup goswami path that's why uh, prabhupad has uh, already uh, started the commentary on upadesh amrit in the kartik month i was thinking that what is my value that prabhupad gone guru work done what is my value so under their anugatya under their guidance i am just uh, doing the uh i am just uh, giving uh, uh i am just actually discussing uh, upadesh amrit under the guidance of prabhupad and all guru vishnu so whatever it is kleshagni shubhada mukha lagata krit sandranando mukha lagata krit sudurlava sandranando visheshatma sikrishna karsani chosa panchaka padurus ki pasindu bhavaja patitanan bhavani bhu vishnu bhavyo namo